copy into is a new uh, is a mechanism to ingest your data into your lake house but there we use a sql script to do that so let me show you yes so let me show you how the copy into syntax works so it, you can see this works in a uh, sql command and it is idempotently and incrementally load new data and it will the files that have already been loaded are skipped so it will make sure that it will read only once once those files are read it will not read it again so here you need to write a syntax in this way copy into your table name so you there is an option again you can create a table an empty table and just say copy into table name from the path from where you are getting your raw file then you use a file format in our case maybe csv or json you can take some file format options or copy options so let me scroll down and you can see the example here copy into my table from the location file format is a csv and the file uh, format options just in case it may be a delimiter pipe or maybe a comma or so on this is an optional and if you want to merge the schema copy options you can use merge schema also these are options so this is not mandatory but these things are mandatory so let me just copy the syntax from here and paste it in a new let me take a new notebook inside this so let me take a new notebook and say that this notebook is related to copy into so it uses a sql script so i will change my notebook to a sql and then i'll paste it here so this is how my sql uh, copy into syntax works so for ingesting you have two mechanisms so auto loader and copy into just a quick reference if you have thousands of file you can go to copy into use a mechanism of copy into if you have millions of files you have an option of auto loader only and it is less efficient when it comes to the scaling auto loader is very much efficient when it, you are dealing with a large data so if we have a less data or a small data set we need to copy that into our lake house you can do it by copy into so now what i'll do i'll just see my raw file i'll just remove these files first let us do if we have a simple schema there is no change in schema we will assume in that way and let me copy this i'll paste it here now copy into do we have a table now so no i do not have any table so let me let me create a table first so i am going to create a table so i'll just say create table my table okay my table my table uh, and i am going to mention a database name novel dot so it should be into my table only now let me execute now when you are when it comes to creating a table you did not mention the schema also yes that is true but if you say that no i will specify the schema and then i'll copy into this table that will perfectly that will work perfectly there is no doubt in that but i wish to show you in other way like okay i'm not creating any uh, structure for this table will it work yes it works in if you run this in a database it will throw you an error saying that column names and the data types are mandatory but here it works you can see that now i am writing copy into novel dot table name i am going to use a path i am going to use a path now so let me come to the auto loader notebook where okay uh, this is my path guys this is my path okay let me copy this path from the input let me paste it here let me paste it here so this is my path and file format i want to use it as a csv csv now do we have any file for uh, format options yes i have a csv file and we know that in csv file we need an header so let me write header to be true let me write it true in this okay you can see this file of, of format so now as i have told you that copy option is a uh, it's just an option 
you can skip this but if if i remove this copy option and if i run this i'll get an error saying that hey in this file format you have five to six columns but in this my table you don't have that many so it will fail so for that reason i'll be using a merge schema option merge schema option and whatever the rows uh, columns are there in this file that will be merged to my table without any error so let me execute this now copy into uh, database name dot table name from this path the file format is csv and file option header true and copy option merge schema true because i have not mentioned any structure here while creating a table now it looks perfectly fine let me see how my table looks like so let me copy this and here let me write select star from database name dot table name let me execute this and you can see that same columns you are getting here perfectly fine so now if i come and drop one more file here that is a fib file it is not like a streaming guys just try to understand it's not like a streaming so okay if i drop a fib file also it doesn't know that a new file has arrived in your storage account it doesn't know that so let me drop it and upload this fib file here so it doesn't know your copy into command doesn't know that a new files are arriving at that moment and it should stream it's not like a streaming one it doesn't work like an auto loader so how to deal with that scenario then no worries a new file has arrived you can just run this now again manually you execute it and now three more rows will be affected you can see that three more rows or uh, three more rows got inserted and got affected now if you execute select star you will see all six rows so uh, what is the difference between auto loader auto loader will automatically detect the new files that are arriving but when it comes to copy into you have to run it manually again you need to uh, like if there is a complex scenarios and so on you can change the copy options and you can work on this so you can come to the documentation here and you can see the copy into overview so i am not taking any uh, scenarios based on this uh, copy into command if a new column comes and so on if you wish you can just comment it out i'll make uh, like we can discuss on that in detail so you can just scroll down and see what all options you have you can use copy into by python also but sql is what we generally recommend so copy into the database name from if it is parquet you don't need to worry much uh, so with unity catalog and common data loading patterns in the copy into you can see uh, what all options you can give you can even infer the schema you can use a merge schema what other uh, file format options and copy options you can use it while loading it so this is all about the copy into a second mechanism how you can ingest the data into the lake house uh, without streaming okay that is into copy uh, by using a copy into command you can run this copy into in your databricks sql editor also you can do it here and you can do it in the notebook style also okay thank you for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed this if you like the content please like the video subscribe to my channel share it with your friends thank you again keep learning